20 miles to go till we get there. Maybe more. <laughs> This is the story of a sailboat named Sylvia and the ragtag crew that call her home. Join us each week as we explore our planet, both above and below the surface, and find out what it's really like to live a life at sea. This is Expedition Drenched. Go and see our last episodes to find out the things we do for chocolate. Let's play a card game. And we learn you all about underwater volcanic eruptions. We are making our way from the Vanua Levu island of Fiji to Viti Levu, to the port of Suva. We're already well on our way and we're going into the first and hopefully last night of our passage. We just came through this little pass between some islands and we were making amazing time. We haven't even had to tack. This has been one tack the entire trip so far. So I think that we are going to get to Suva probably pretty early in the morning, which is perfect timing. So far so good, except for that pumice... Uh, what would you call that thing? The pumice what? Eruption. Pumice eruption. Yeah, so that added a little element of surprise to it. It's a busy night, eh? Yeah, we already passed the big ferry. Now it's going to Sabu Sabu. We pass, we pass it port to port, and I think it's coming another one. No? Yeah, that's it here. We think that there's a ferry and a ferry pass. This is the one we just passed. That's us. And then there's another boat there. And we are getting closer to the, to the big port, so maybe yeah. we can have more traffic. Yeah. It's four o'clock in the morning. We're almost to Suva. You can see all the big city lights on the horizon. It's actually not far away. I don't think you'll be able to see it on this camera. Let's see if you can see it. Oh, no. They're all right there along the coast. And I think we've got about 20 miles to go till we get there. Maybe more. It's pretty chill. We've got like 12 knots of wind. We're going downwind. The seas have really flattened out. And. Cruising along at about five knots. I think it's cool to show up to like a really big city on Sylvia because she's used to just being in tropical places or in New Zealand, which is very much like these really natural, you know, these natural bays and stuff. And so I don't know why, but I feel like it's cool for Sylvia to go into a big city. Bye. Bye. How's it going? <laughs> Good, this is one of the smoothest sail I feel like. I mean, we're sailing and when you're downstairs you actually don't really feel that you're sailing and yeah. the leaning is over and it's pretty good. Yeah. A bit sleepy. Yeah. What's the first thing you want to do when you get to Suva? Um, yeah, we just talked about food again <laughs> <laughs> and apparently there are some good Indian restaurants so I don't mind to go out for a little little dinner. What's your go-to Indian dish? Well, not too spicy. I don't really like spicy food, but I just like the flavors. It's like always super flavory. Yeah. So, I don't know. Let's see what I have on the menu. Yay.
toast, homemade bread with some sweet chili and mayonnaise and fried egg and coriander, fresh coriander. A little sunrise treat for us. Thank you. <laughs> First popcorn, now it is. I'm feeling so spoiled. <laughs> I'm like, I'm on a yacht, man. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Good. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Mm. You're gonna get in my belly right about now. For real. Really? Yeah. This is yeah. This oh. is pretty amazing. Thank you. Yeah. This, this is like the perfect sunrise. We've got perfect sailing conditions. Yeah. Delicious treats. And Suva on the horizon. Amir bought some Yan Yan massage flower oil and he left it on the boat. And I was sick of it not being able to move the traveler, so I rubbed the traveler in the massage. <laughs> and now it just flies from one side. <laughs> some oil there and I slipped and I was like <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel pulling in with all these other boats around? Yeah, it's like there's a lot of traffic for us right now. Two boats, the big boat which is kind of cool and then the other boat who is just motoring. Weirdos. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's cool to see other other boats around. Yeah. And now it looks cool because we have the light if you see the boat and it's oh, like yeah. Ooh yeah that does look really cool. Yeah. It's like grey right behind him and yeah. then he's all lit up all gold. We have a port control. This is sailing vessel Sylphia. Do you copy? Uh, yes, we are also just about an hour out. We we're just going to come in and go on anchor. Um, our last port was just a Sabu Sabu. Yep, sounds good. Yep, uh, we've already cleared in Sabu Sabu and uh, we'll see you in about an hour. Thank you. Why did you call a port control? Because another boat did. <laughs> John Malkovich on another boat did, and I wanted to make sure that. I don't know, you never know. Yeah. We got yelled at once. Even though I called it in twice, <laughs> a boat came up to us and was like, Why didn't you call? And I'm like, I called in twice. So now I like over call. I need to make sure that they know that we're coming. Yeah. Because I expect a grand entrance. It's <laughs> really wild. We're Coming through! Carpet, Coming through! I think we should leave ourselves out until we're... Yeah. And we should not motor at all. 
Okay, Oceana. <laughs> 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 it's a good angle for us to go straight yeah. in. We'll Yay. see what the wind does when we get in. But I think there's a good chance. Yeah. What could go wrong? A couple cruise ships, mega yachts, what could go wrong? Furler comes off the twirling line, comes off the <laughs> drum, and we can Did it? Yeah, we did do it. Did your first day? I mean, it was yeah. the perfect sail too. Yeah, it's perfect. Um, such a lovely, such a lovely time. Like yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. You don't even realize that we've been waiting for this perfect sail since we left New Zealand. If this is all I'm ever gonna do. It's just perfect sailing, and I'm going. Why would you? Yeah, and then when you leave, it'll be shit again. <laughs> what was your favorite um, moment of our sail? Uh, my favorite moment of the sail was first night watch. That was very cool. Like the instruments glowing in the dark, very chill, popping the heads up every now and then. Yeah. Who? Who's that? Everybody's drinking coffee. Yeah. Yeah. So excited. So happy I can see Suva. Yeah. Do you know where we go? Where are we going, Suva? Where the anchorages or anything? Ah, uh, the anchorage is kind of like uh, so they like yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I haven't been in the city. What do you see, baby? The shipwreck <laughs> as we come into Suva. Very ominous looking shipwreck right as you enter the harbor. <laughs> That's not gonna be us though, we got this. Yeah, don't go where they went. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's our marker. Yeah, it's time. Oh, coffee time. Coffee. Woke up and was already made, so it's a good day. At your own pace, you need to find your way. Is it what you expected? I don't know yet. You can judge it yet. Look yeah. at all this friggin' ash all over our boat, though. To clean up, huh? Yeah. Collect the rocks. Or we're... It's very mountainous, huh? Like big mountains. Well, relatively. Yeah, I haven't really seen this far this side. Last time we come to Fiji, I made it as far as. So you have Nadi on one end and Suva on the other. other. And I made it maybe three quarters of the way, but then sailed out. So I'm interested to see what Suva's like. Join us in our next episode where Jordan points at a weird object. So we're gonna clean this out and then hopefully we should be good to go. We'll see what happens. Brett decides to finally share the way he styles his beard. <laughs> and Philip gets pretty creative with finding ways to try and kill himself. It's my motor face. Face, my, 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 my